There it is. Rock. Nice, nice Trey. Play. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> nice. That was way better than we've ever hit. <laughs> That's so that was very solid. Welcome. Thank nice you, to meet you guys. You. I'm Scott. Nice to meet you. And how did you guys get into tennis? I played once with my girlfriend like two months ago and I was like, this is the funnest sport ever. And it's like super technical and very difficult, which is like something I've liked about golf. Is it's like so technical and you can constantly like learn and get better. Are you a golf player in high school? Yeah, a I golfer? Basketball. Basketball? So, basketball is also a really good sport um, in terms of analog movements. Yeah. So I think between the two of those, we should be good. So what I'll do is I'll start with some, a uh, little bit of warming up yeah. and then we'll go from there. Yeah. yeah, what is it? What is a warm up? Nice. Good. Nice. All right, let's hit a couple backhands. Backhand's looking better than it was in that video. Did you keep taking lessons from that kid? <laughs> hold the racket up here. Okay. Some people will hold it like this, but I prefer this. You're already ahead of the game. What I mean by that is that when you're moving, you're not like forcing your stroke, but instead you're kind of galloping in and using momentum like effectively into the swing. And that I think, makes the stroke more consistent. It makes the stroke easier. As far as like the technical element, come on over to this side. I saw this when I was watching your videos earlier. You could use your left hand a little bit more actively. Bring your racket back without your left hand, right? And just notice how much range of motion you have as you bring it back. You go pretty far, right? Yeah. Grab the racket with your left hand and now bring the racket across and bring it as far as it'll go. And where do you notice the stretch happening? Exactly. Torso area, ab area? Exactly, it's stretching your obliques, yeah. right? This time what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring the racket back as far as it'll go, that's perfect. And now from here, we're just gonna drop, right? And now from there, square up and swing, okay? And this is in addition to all the other movements that you're gonna be making, Okay. right? As I'm looking forward, my chin is kind of over my, is, is, um, is, is over my shoulder, right? Okay. So that's the cue you wanna sense when you're getting ready for your stroke. And that's gonna also play into the back end as well. So the, the drop is gonna happen right around in sync with the bounce of the ball. So the ball is gonna bounce and we're just gonna feel the drop right in sync with that. Okay. okay. Go ahead, just to make things simple, let's start with that coil. Perfect. And then we're just gonna drop, square up and swing. Here Perfect. we go. Drop and swing. Good, nice. Drop, swing. Good. Good, drop, swing. Good. Drop, swing. Awesome. Drop, swing. Good. Drop, swing. Excellent. Do you notice anything? Do you feel a difference there? It's more body motion instead of just a lot of arms. Yeah, exactly. It takes away a little bit of stress on the arm. Yeah. And it get, brings, the, brings the energy down. All across, drop. Nice. Cross, drop, swing. Good. Cross, drop. Yeah. And my recommendation is that try to stay relaxed. So the effort is going to be in the coil. But then okay. once that's done, we want to try to stay relaxed so that the racket is permitted to accelerate. Okay. So we're just going to drop with a bounce. That's perfect. Coil, drop, and just easy square up and swing. Just let that racket go. And again, the, the less you try on this, the only effort that you want to be putting in is in the coil. Everything else, just let it flow. Think of it very rhythmically. One, two, three. Beautiful. Two, three. Good. Okay. What we're going to do now is we're going to add a little bit of movement. And in some ways, this is going to make things easier because you can take advantage of that dynamic movement and flow into the stroke just like you're doing in the warm up. Two. Good. Two. Good. Yeah. Not bad. Really let that racket drop. We want ideally the arm to be extended before it starts going forward. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Two, good. How's it feeling so far? Way better. Good. Yeah. All right, so let's see your backhands again. Down the line, please. I'll try. Move this way. And if you hit me, it's a TikTok video, so. <laughs> that doesn't mean hit me, though. That's good. So the big danger of the two-hander is it's easy to stiffen up on that yeah. side. Here's what we're gonna do. The first cue is we're gonna try to feel that right shoulder underneath the chin. Perfect, great. What we do is we want the racket to be up, okay. strings out, 
and the racket a little bit away from the body. Our two, when the ball bounces, is just like on the forehand, we're just gonna let gravity drop the racket head. And what you're gonna notice is that if you let it drop enough with a loose enough wrist, your top wrist is gonna be bent down like this. Okay. Right, let's try that. So we're gonna go back one, drop two, okay? Then right as we drop, we're gonna square up as before and we're gonna take our swing. Can you recommend the two-hander for every beginner? No, I love teaching the one-hander. Really? Yeah, I saw you guys with two, but I'm happy to try, try the one See, really I quick. I feel like a one-hander would be more natural for me. Let's try it, let's try okay. one. I think that the one-hander like works better for some people, especially because you're like, you're long. Yeah. So one-handers work for like tall, taller, kind of lankier yeah. people. So, and I, I prefer the one-hander. But let's try two first. Okay. Let's give it a shot. So we're going to wear one, drop. <laughs> yeah, it's really good. Okay, coil, drop. Not bad. Don't forget to drop the racket head. So we feel the racket drop, drop. That's it. Exactly. And easy. Less is more. Good. That's it. Coil, drop. Good. Coil, drop. Good. Coil, drop. Good. Okay, let's work on the one-hander for a moment. Okay. Let me just see what you do naturally. Okay. I'm probably gonna get hit, but let's see. Yeah. Stay nice and sideways. That's pretty good. So does that feel more comfortable? It feels like looser. Yeah. The two-hander just feels really rigid to me. So this already looks a little bit more natural to me. Okay. Without any like instruction, it just looks more comfortable. So the first thing that you got to remember for the one-hander is the grip's got to chain. So go ahead and just re-grip it like this. Okay. Go ahead and let your hand reposition behind the racket like that. Now, now you've got some solidity. Yeah. Here we go. Just nice and easy. Just step in. Good. That's already better. Good. Just nice and easy and just keep feeling that throwing feeling. That's okay. And did you feel how the yeah. top spin was just really easy? Yeah. So now is we're going to go into what they call the pocket position, right? So it's kind of like you're sheathing a sword. If you're putting your hand right over your pocket. That's it, lazy swing. All right, yeah. That's it. And you'll see on camera, like it looks, it looks really good. All right, so why don't we do a little live ball? Is that like us against each other? Yeah, I'll okay, have so you guys playing against each other. Nice. Let's start with a little bit of um, forehands first. Good, excellent. Good, good. 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 Ah. Good. All right. Ah, my bad. That is way better than we've ever hit. <laughs> That's some, so, that was very solid. Good. Good. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Another really good rally. So as we get nervous, we want to face the ball like this. We got to make sure to keep on reminding yourself to be waiting wow. for the ball like this so that you're ready. Let's go cross court backhands a little bit. Okay. Oh, this is going to be a little uglier. Shoulder, pocket, pinch. Beautiful. Good. Drop. Okay. Nice, That's Trey. It. That's it. That's it. Uh, all right. It's all right. A little bit more stretch there. A little bit more stretch in that, yeah. in that coil. There it is. Yeah. All right. Let's play a game. Okay. Okay. Have you guys ever played fives? Ah. Uh. Okay, this is gonna be your favorite game. You share a score, just five. One player is going up and the other player is going down. Your goal is to get to 10, yours is to get to zero. Okay. Yeah. So here we go. All right, Jake's up, six. Good. Good. Yeah. Good. 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 Nice top spin. Really nice. Okay, six. Nice, nice, nice. All right, nice point. Nine. He wants, it, he wants it to my backhand. Nice, nice. <laughs> 10. All right. Good game. Game. That was way more high level than anything we do out there. All right, Trey. Lesson one done. What do you what do you think? What are your thoughts? I think I got better in those hour, 45 minutes than I did in like two months of trying to learn by myself. Like learning the correct stroke pattern. Yeah. Um, all that stuff is so valuable. Just having the instant feedback, I think, oh, is the yeah. difference. 
Because when you go out there and you practice on your own, you just feel like you are yeah. not working towards anything. Yeah. Like we tried, we grinded the YouTube, like try to learn it, film yourself. And that's obviously really helpful and I'm glad we did that. Yeah. But man, get lessons as soon as you can. Cause that, yeah, that literally was a yeah. month's worth of work in one lesson. Yeah. All right guys, well, lesson done. I, I'm excited, Trey, any, any yeah. parting words for us, bud? Straight to the top, winners only straight to the top. Guys, hit that subscribe button. Right now. Think about it. Right now, this you're, is, go ahead. you're going to watch us from being terrible tennis players, which we are right now, to by the end of this year, we are going to be so freaking good at this game so good and you can follow the entire thing right here two guys who have never played tennis before spending a whole year grinding it's going to be a blast the content's going to be amazing we're not going to stop let's go let's go tell your brother tell your uncle tell your cousin tell your cousins brothers aunts uncles dog yeah. all right where's only we're out peace, peace.